if you're looking for a mouth melting dessert which just slides down your throat and warms up your soul, I have a recipe for you all which is running in my family for years. Hi guys, this is Ruchi Bhrani. Welcome to Rajshri Food and today I'm going to show you how to make badam halwa. I've taken 200 grams of almonds over here that I've soaked in hot water for half an hour and then peeled the skin. So in this way, after you soak the almonds, you can just press it lightly and peel off the skin. So in this episode, I'm going to do a few things simultaneously. So please keep up. So the first step is that I'm going to heat up some ghee and draw some wheat flour. Turn on the flame. Half a cup of wheat flour. Roast this wheat flour till it becomes nice and brown. This will take about 6 to 7 minutes, so on low flame, keep roasting. The flour is nicely roasted in the ghee and it's got a beautiful caramel colour. Now I'm going to remove it from the hot pan and keep it aside. Moving on to the next step is to grind the peeled almonds. So let's start grinding them. Add in half a cup of milk and grind this into a smooth paste. Let's check on this. The almond paste is ready and let's finish this halwa now. So in a saucepan, I'm going to heat up one and a half cups of milk. Also add in a few strands of saffron. Turn on the flame. I'm also going to turn on this flame because in this pan, I'm going to roast the almond paste. So for that, heat 1 4 cup of ghee. Once the ghee is slightly hot, into this add in the almond paste. Roast the almond paste for at least 5 to 6 minutes and now I'm going to add this roasted wheat flour back into the pan. Mix it well with the almond paste. The milk has come to a boil and now I'm going to pour it over this almond mixture. Give it a good mix and make sure there are no lumps. At this point, add in the sugar as well. So I have one cup of sugar here. Keep stirring and let the sugar melt. The sugar is nicely melted and now cook this till you get the perfect halwa consistency. As you can see, the ghee has started to separate out from the halwa and it's going to slightly dry out once it cools down. For more such delicious recipes, catch me every Monday on Rajshri Food and stay tuned till the end for the tips. Last goes in 1 teaspoon of cardamom powder. Mix it well. And turn off the flame. This halwa is ready and time to plate. If you want to garnish it with silver foil, you could do so, but it's optional. Some almond slices and some pistachio. A few strands of saffron. This is ready. I guarantee you will not be able to resist to dig into this. So give this a try. Let me know how it turned out and I'll see you soon. Bye-bye. While cooking the halwa, if you think it's too dry, you can add about half cup to three fourth cup of warm milk. This halwa is extremely nutritious but rich, so make sure you have it in small portions. 